takeoff. So in this video, this is the, I'm showing the first flight uh, of the uh, DJI Spark. Once I uh, received the uh, controller and had everything working. And so, uh, one of the things I immediately noticed is that the uh, drone moves much more quickly. Even though it's still not in sport mode, uh, it does move much more quickly. It seems much more responsive with the controller as opposed to using the uh, telephone. Maximum flight as altitude the controller. reached. And so I uh, was just kind of messing around with it, and I almost got into a little bit of trouble. Uh, we'll, we'll come up to that point uh, here in a bit. I was kind of flying, you see my solar panels right there. I have a 20 panel uh, uh, grid connected uh, solar array, and I was kind of flying uh, around those panels fairly close and I actually uh, ended up uh, kind of running into the panels a little bit with the uh, blade uh, with you know but it uh, fortunately it didn't hurt the drone uh, <laughs> so but you know every, every one of these flights seems to be a, a learning experience and uh, you know, so it's just kind of something to take into account. Uh, but uh, as I say, the thing does seem to move quite a bit faster. Even though it's not in sport mode, it does seem to move quite a bit faster and be much more responsive uh, to the uh, controls uh, than it did when uh, I was just using the phone before I got the actual controller, when I was just using the phone as the controller. And so right here, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, kind of flying around the panels. And I do this several times, uh, you know, and, you know, and you can see the thing is, uh, seems to spin around a lot faster as well. So probably, uh, maybe it's not, in next video, I may try uh, the so-called tripod mode that sort of slows everything down. Uh, you know, makes the uh, movements uh, much more, uh, you know, slows them down and makes them more slow, you know, uh, more fluid maybe. So, I'm uh, going to go for another pass here, and I don't think, I think one of these passes as we go along here, uh, you know, I actually come, the blade, the uh, blades actually come into contact with the uh, glass, uh, solar panels a little bit but uh, I recovered quickly and as I say it didn't uh, didn't damage the drone at all it didn't damage the blades so but right here I'm just kind of messing around uh, playing with the uh, controller and uh, so again sort of discovering how uh, responsive it was you know, and th another thing that I kind of uh, found out was that uh, even, mo you know, it, it wasn't quite as easy making a straight, there, here we got, that's where it came into contact. Uh, it wasn't quite as easy as making straight lines as I thought it should have been. And I may have uh, been putting slight pressure either to the left or to the right uh, on the, uh, controller even though I thought I was just pushing it forward in a straight line. So there you see a kind of an obsolete satellite dish that I should get rid of. Uh, it's haven't used it in years and it's kind of a pain to uh, mow around. Uh, should get rid of it but in any case uh, just kind of messing around here and I think I'm going to make another pass here at the, at the uh, solar panels. <laughs> Seem to be obsessed with uh, kind of flying next to them. Kind of, you know, trying to get a, 
a straight line and again this seems to be a little bit hard to uh, do kind of a hard thing to do so uh, I need more practice obviously with with the drone and with the controllers and kind of figuring out uh, that got a little close to the lines there there were lines ahead of course the it's not in sport mode so that it, it would you know it was uh, the drone was actually, uh, you know, it would actually stop uh, before it actually hit anything, you know, coming forward. But of course, it only has uh, the uh, avoidance on the uh, one side, on the forward side, and it is possible, you know, to back into things or obviously go in sideways into things, like I did with the. Uh, when I got the blades into the solar panel there a little bit. Um, so at this point, you know, I'm just kind of uh, raised the elevation and then kind of, you know, tilted the gimbal down. The gimbal also seems to be uh, pretty responsive as well as, uh, you know, you can make it, you know, kind of aim straight down instantly if, you know, if you're not careful. So I need to just need more practice with the control, with the actual controller controls. So there, I'm just kind of fiddling with it, and you can see how fast the uh, the gimbal is moving. But, you know, and I ha sort of have jerky movements with it. So learning experience, as I say. So there it is, kind of you know, kind of tilting it up and tilting it down. There you can see the uh, hills off in the uh, distance. This is obviously, you know, set in my house, and so this is, uh, you know, I kind of live out in a rural, bit of a rural area in the Ozark Mountains in northwest Arkansas, and uh, lots of trees, obviously, so I have to be careful uh, with the trees. I do have a little bit of a clearing where my house is, but, uh, you know, at least on one side of it, but uh, would have to be careful. So... Here we are, you know, I think I'm bringing the elevation down a little bit, you know, just kind of uh, not really sure which way I have the drone aimed at this point. Well, now I do. You see that there's my house, so that's the clearing we were looking at is on the other side, not my property, it's like the neighbor's property, the adjoining property. So, uh, just kind of spinning it around too fast <laughs> don't hope you don't get seasick sorry about that so uh, just need more practice with it uh, lots and lots more practice uh, you know kind of figuring out the controls and uh, kind of getting it to do what I want it to do so uh, got it to land right there so we're uh, here towards the end of the video so uh, you know join me in the next video if you like it give it a thumbs up um, subscribe if you want